Where is the cold open? A deserted highway in the desert, an unsub's laboratory or creepy lair, or in the BAU? Oh, 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 in the BAU, because that's where I would feel the safest. And um, I know that they probably ultimately want to be caught and to reframe their choices in life. Deserted highway. Oh, in the desert, deserted highway in the desert for sure. And this is a filmmaking answer because the desert is always beautiful, always looks cool, always has like a very emotional effect on the viewer. A deserted highway, because I'd be outside, be nice. <laughs> I've been in enough creepy lairs, you know what I mean? Let's get as much fresh air as possible. This plane seldom makes pleasure trips. Where are we flying to? Alaska, Wyoming, Louisiana, or staying put in Virginia? Ooh, Alaska. It's one of my favorite places in the world. <laughs> I, I used to lead backpacking trips for high school kids, and I spent a summer um, just climbing glaciers and climbing mountains in Alaska, and it's just gorgeous. And it's so remote, there could be a lot of serial killers there. Alaska. I also think that like frosty tundra kind of landscapes with snowy mountains, they're all always very beautiful. We spent enough time in, in Virginia. Alaska, I'm very adverse to cold weather. Uh, and I think Louisiana, just because of the, you know, Rossi especially would appreciate the food, you know, the whole that that aspect of it, and uh, I think that'd, that'd be that'd be interesting. We are flying to Louisiana because it's lovely, and um, why not? It seems like it would be like different and swampy and beautiful, and it's got that like it you know deep like historical spookiness to it. Rules are there for a reason. Follow them and you won't have to put a gun to your head. What type of unsub are we profiling? An organized psychopath, a sexual sadist, a narcissist with delusions of grandeur, or twist? There's two unsubs with opposite profiles. Oh, I love the twist. I love the twist, like a city mouse and a country mouse. And the city mouse is in Anchorage and the country mouse is out in the tundra. They like work in tandem. Okay, I'm gonna say that it's both the narcissist with delusions and that they're two different. They think they're different, but they're narcissists and they're actually the same. You can spot a narcissist and all of us have to deal with those all the time. So that'll help us better handle narcissists. Ooh, I'm gonna go with A. I like the narcissist with the delusions of grandeur because I think, you know, Rossi would like nothing better than to kind of take that guy down. He's a bit of a narcissist himself a little bit, Rossi, and so it's like, this, this this town's only big enough for one of us. Sending it to your phones. You're welcome. Your Majesty. Mm -hmm. What gets the unsub caught? Inserting themselves mm. into the investigation, hunting outside of their safety zone, or devolving into disorganization? I'm going to go with B. Yeah, I kind of like that. I like that. I think that becomes the fatal flaw. And it's like, and I like the fact that, you know, my character would pick up on that. Like, ah, uh, shouldn't have done that. You know, you might have got away with it if you hadn't done that. Devolving into disorganization, there are bloody footprints in the snow. Someone's cut open a, a polar bear and using him like a tauntaun for warmth. And, and there are just clues everywhere spread across the wasteland. Oh, it, absolutely D, making a sandwich in front of one of us that lets us know by their choice of bad condiments oh, that they are the bad guy. She's not your friend. She was trying to trick you. Who makes the big bust? A, Garcia and a rare journey into the field. B, your character, but after they've been held hostage. C, a special guest star. Or D, a potential victim manages to subdue the unsub. I mean, it's obviously my character, but my character is in close contact with Garcia. And we're speaking on headset and she is tracking everything from a drone uh, view above this. And I'm running through the ice and snow. Mm -hmm. And then there's a big tussle. And I throw a snowball, but it's really a big chunk of ice and it knocks out the unsub. Anything that gives me more Garcia. Oh my gosh, she's amazing. I like that potential victim manages because we all need to remember that that might reframe the idea of the drama triangle, right? Of the villain and the victim. I'm like, I have to be the victim, but maybe you get to be the hero. And then maybe you get to just take yourself off the drama triangle and be like, I am no longer related to my past. I'm just me, full essence of me. Now that I've gotten rid of that person who is trying to take me down. I, I, I want to give that one to Garcia. I think there's yeah. been a couple occasions where she's done that and it's been really wonderful. You know what I mean? And I think yeah. it's, a, it's, a, it, it's, a, it's somewhat out of character, which is makes it all the, the better, you know? So yeah, I like this. I like to see Kirsten 